In this video, I'll be taking you through the steps of analyzing a target that has used a total protein stain for normalization. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the tutorials project that I have open here, and I'm going to click on Create New Experiment. So over here under the Analyze Target, I'm going to click on Total Protein Stain for the normalization. And with, as with the other videos, I'm going to go in here to the image gallery and pull out the images that I need for this. But you can also, if you needed to, uh, go in directly into a work area or go to zip files uh, that you have exported out of Image Studio. So I have my two images right here, so I'm going to go ahead and click Start. And for this experiment, I have Revert as my normalization, and I have C Parp as my experiment, or as my target. Now, these were pulled in uh, in the opposite of what they needed to be, so I'm going to switch this, and so that I have my internal loading control is my revert, and my protein is C PARP. So once we have those named, I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. And so that we can see this a little more clearly, I'm going to adjust my image just like that. And I'm going to set my boundaries. So I'm going to click and drag just to the outside of the outer lanes. I have 10 lanes loaded on here. And so if I need to, I can also adjust the boundary so that that line is going somewhat through the middle of my lanes. I do have replicates on here, so in lanes 2, 3, and 4, I have one uh, replicate treatment. 5, 6, and 7, I have that as well, and also in 8, 9, and 10. So in my first set of replicates here, uh, these are jerkat cells, and these are untreated. So I'm going to copy that down to here, and in this one, uh, these were treated with a toposide. Then I'm going to copy that information down to the next line here. All right, so I, my first ba my first lane here is the molecular weight marker, and then I'm going to set up my treatment conditions. You can also add in the amount of drug that was added, the concentration, dosage, but I'm going to use treatment for this one. So my first lanes uh, were the untreated, so I'm going to leave that at 0%. My second replicate was 33%, and then the next replicate was 100%. Now, as with other revert images that we've worked with previously uh, in the tutorials, we do have to set uh, a marker, even if it's not really used for the revert staining, and add a couple of band markers on here so that we can move to the next image. So here I'm going to adjust my lane location slightly so that it gets all of the revert signal. It looks like the rest of them are good. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. So then for my target, I'm going to adjust the boundary here a little bit. And just so that we can see this a little better, I'm going to adjust the image. And adjust the boundary just a little bit more. And then click Done. So this is just uh, informational for you. There's, there's nothing to edit uh, in this table right here. I'm going to click Next, and then for my molecular weight marker, I have the Chameleon Duo 800 marker. And I'm going to click Add Band. And then Done. So once that is all set properly, go ahead and click on Next. And for my target, I can either click the Add Bands or the Find Bands. The Add Band just gives you one by one. 
with the fine bands, I can move this line into the approximate location of my target and click. And then if need be, I can edit the size and location of these as needed. But everything looks okay with that, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. Now for the graph, we have to say which one is my control. So for my untreated cells, I'm going to say that is the control. And then I also want to include my other replicates, uh, my 33% and my 100% treatment in there. And so right now it is a scatter plot uh, that has the standard deviations within, the, or I'm sorry, the, the fold change compared. And if I click the bar here, we see that the control is set at uh, a fold change of one. And then in my two treatments, you can see that the fold change is shown there along with the standard deviations of the um, three samples in, uh, for each replicate. So I do need to give it a, a title. I'm just going to call this fold change and then click next. So here in the final section, the review and report, we have the image of the revert on here. And then as we scroll down, we can see uh, that we get the, the signal for each one of those for the normalization. And as we go down further here, we have the targets. It has the, the information for the normalized signal. And then also uh, the molecular weights and uh, the fold change chart. So at this point, if we want to export these data, we can either do it as a PDF report or an experimental file uh, to take to another computer for, uh, for someone else to, to visualize. You can also rate the, the experiment. So if, if everything came out exactly as expected, you can go ahead and click on five. Uh, or if it was not quite as expected, you can click on anywhere uh, below that. Thank you.